I have a surprise for you all today. I have a treat for you today. So I'm not sure if you've heard about this yet, but apparently Kid Rock is back and he has another anthem for us. It's called We the People. So just by We the People, um, you know that with this cringy name, it's going to be some weird American exceptionalist bullshit or some sort of, um, I don't know, conservative anthem. I'm not sure. Uh, either way, we can't listen to it, unfortunately, because I don't want to get copyright claimed. Uh, that being said, I do have the lyrics. Now, before we get into this, let me ask you all, do you think it's going to be more or less cringeworthy than Tom McDonald? Because I feel like it's not going to be as cringeworthy as Tom McDonald, but it's still going to be pretty difficult to get through. Um, it's definitely going to be more cringy uh, or less cringy, I should say, than Buddy Brown, country uh, conservative sensation. But um, the one that I'm really wondering is, is this more cringeworthy than Tom McDonald? I think it will be, but we'll kind of judge together. It seems like we have a lot of Kid Rock fans in the chat. Lots of you very enthusiastic about Kid Rock. Um, okay. We the People by Sir Kid Rock. We the People in All We Do. Reserve the right to scream, fuck you. That's true. We can actually do that, thankfully, because with First Amendment. I'm really glad that he acknowledges that. Yeah, we can scream that. Indeed. Hey, yeah. Ow. Hey, yeah. Huh? Okay. I feel like there could be a little bit more nuance and um, substance here. But, you know, we're just getting started. Wear your mask. Take your pills. Now a whole generation's mentally ill. Okay, so if you wear a mask during a global pandemic, apparently you are mentally ill, according to Kid Rock. Hey, yeah, man, fuck Fauci. This is so edgy. He said fuck Fauci. Wow. Wow. This is really, like, he's coming out of the gate swinging. This is incredibly aggressive. I didn't expect him to drop a fuck Fauci in the beginning of the song. I'm not sure if this is the first verse. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe this is the first verse. This is the chorus, I'm guessing, or the bridge. Uh, let's see some Let's Go Brandons, but let's let's go basically. Um, let's start here. But COVID's near. It's coming to town. We got to act quick. Shut our borders down. Actually, um, there's been at least a couple of studies that show that shutting down the borders isn't actually the most effective way to deal with COVID-19 because you end up inhibiting the transmission of supplies across borders, PPE and whatnot. So that's actually not the best thing to do. Joe Biden does, the media embraces. Uh, Big Don does it and they call him a racist. Well, I mean, Donald Trump is racist. He literally is a racist. And when he shut down the borders back in March of 2020, that was like the only thing that he did. And then he, he bragged about that forever, except you didn't do anything else. You just shut down the borders because, of course, that's going to be your first instinct. Now, Joe Biden is also racist and the media is not calling him racist. So I understand the double standard here that Kid Rock is pointing to. And I think that there is some merit to this claim. But I mean, to uh, imply that Trump isn't racist is very bird brained. They're rapists and some, I assume, are good people. But let's get to the chorus here. We the people. Ooh. Let's go, Brandon. This sounds sexual. We the people. Oh, let's go, Brandon. Am I supposed to read it this way? I haven't heard the song, so I don't know. We the people. Oh, let's go, Brandon. We the people. Is he trying to fuck Joe Biden? Because let's go, Brandon means fuck Joe Biden. It's a synonym for fuck uh, Joe Biden. So is he actually trying to have sexual intercourse with the president of the United States? Is this a gay anthem? Because I would not have anticipated this coming from Kid Rock. We the people. Oh, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Kid Rock wants to fuck Joe Biden. That's gross. Ew. Imagine wanting to have sex with uh, fucking Joe Biden. His bussy would like literally fall to the floor if you touched him. <laughs> it's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Fuck Facebook, fuck Twitter too. I agree with that 100%. We should nuke these uh, websites. And the mainstream media, fuck you too. 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 Yeah, I, I see, there's no disagreement here. I don't like um, the mainstream media as well. Woo! Yeah, you. We the people. Oh, yeah. We the people. <laughs> I, feel, 
I really want to listen to the song because I feel like I'm reading it too sexually. It's not supposed to be that sexual, I'm assuming, right? Um, I don't know. Just we the people. Oh, let's go, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> Inflation's up like the minimum wage. The minimum wage is not up, though. They failed to get that done. We haven't raised the minimum wage in more than a decade. What are you talking about? So it's all the same. Inflation is up because we raised the minimum wage. We didn't raise the minimum wage, though. So unless I'm living in some sort of an alternate dimension, and in his dimension, they did actually increase the minimum wage, and Kirsten Sinema didn't enthusiastically thumb it down, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. So it's all the same. It ain't a damn thing changed. It ain't a, a damn... That's grammatically incorrect. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. You piece of shit. Damn. You piece of shit. I don't see color. Hmm. Doubtful. Black Lives Matter. No shit, motherfucker. Wow, okay. So he's endorsing Black Lives Matter. This is actually surprising to me. To simply affirm that Black Lives do indeed matter, he would be viewed as an SJW. That's how far right the Republicans have shifted. So now he just undermined his entire message. He's going to get canceled by the GOP. This is SJW apologia, right? Okay. I By the way, I don't know. The structure of the song is very strange because I feel like this is the chorus, right? And then we have this. And then I'm guessing maybe this is, I don't know, just a bridge. I, I don't know. The structure of the song is really weird. I feel like he's just freestyling it. But we got to keep fighting for the right to be free. Sure. I totally agree. And every human being doesn't have to agree. Sure. I agree with that as well. We all bleed red. Brother, listen to me. I'm not your brother, pal. It's time for love and unity. Okay, this is a complete 180. You were just talking about fuck Facebook, fuck Twitter, and fuck the mainstream media. And now you're saying that we need to unify. So you go from fucking Trumpian politics to Hillary Clinton's we're stronger together. How many paragraphs is that? That's like five paragraphs that it took him to make this transition. I don't understand. Like, I feel like he didn't have a concrete idea going into this. He just tried to find what would rhyme. But this is extremely cringeworthy. I am not in favor of love and unity. I don't want to unify with MAGA chuds and these dipshits. No, I want to beat you and I want you to be politically irrelevant. So, no, I disagree with this message. This is SJW beta male bullshit and I don't agree. But then he goes back to uh, fuck Joe Biden. We the people. Oh, yeah, let's go, Brandon. We the people. Oh, let's go, Brandon. We the people. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I should be banned from Twitch. <laughs> let's go, Brandon. We the people. He genuinely wants to have sexual intercourse with Joe Biden. That's so disgusting to me. So gross. Fuck, see, see now he's back to being you know a hater after love and unity he can't make up his mind do i hate everyone do i love everyone and do i want to unify with everyone do i want to have sexual intercourse with joe biden possibly 69 him um what is it fuck cnn fuck tmz oh that's a very unpopular opinion uh, everyone i know loves cnn and tmz so he's gonna be really you know pissing off some people ruffling a few feathers here if you know what i mean um and you social media trolls, y'all can suck on D's. D's. Oh, he's... Wait. Don't look ahead. He's going to drop a D's nuts. D's nuts. That's what's up. Yes, sir. I have to applaud you for that. Genuinely, that's courageous. That is so courageous. Why does it keep jumping? Jesus Christ. There's so many ads on this page that it keeps jumping up. Or is it because I highlighted it? I mean, look, I've got to say... There's been a lot of conservative songs that I've um, that I found, and for him to drop a D's nuts, this just takes it to the next level. I'm genuinely intrigued. I want to listen to it. I wish that we could listen to this. Should I just risk the copyright strike? No, I won't do that. But I want to listen to it. Particularly, I want to listen to the chorus. How does he say, like, how he says, oh, let's go, Brandon, that really de will determine, you know, what he means. What's the implication with let's go, Brandon? If you down with so he's back on the hippie shit again. So he he keeps going back and forth. Hate, love, hate, love, hate, love. Just make, pick one. I'll pick for you. Hate. We the people. <laughs> Drop a little Jimmy Dore laugh in there. 
This is off the rails. I'm so sorry. If you sit down with love and want to make things better, all we got to do is just come together. Oh. I'm going to come. Yeah. Yeah. This, okay. That, to me, confirms that he's he's talking about fucking Joe Biden, literally. Not fuck Joe Biden, that you don't like him. He wants to fuck Joe Biden. Weather the storm and take my hand. Then follow my lead to the promised land. This is some SJW dumbass, like, milk toast bullshit. I don't know if he wants to be edgy or if he wants to be, you know, a blue-haired SJW on college campuses. Take my hand. No, fuck you. I don't want to take your hand. You probably have fucking COVID right now. And Kid Rock, he looks like someone who never washes his hands after he goes to the bathroom. Even after he takes a dump and wipes his ass, he doesn't wash his hands. Because we the people, we got to unite. No, we don't. Fuck you. Fuck your unity. Eat a dick. To follow that good time guiding light. I don't know what that means. Are you referring to God? If so, then no. Climb aboard this love boat. He's talking about fucking Joe Biden. What the fuck? This confirms it. And rock that bitch up and down the coast. It is a song about fucking Joe Biden. He's talking about climbing aboard the love boat and then rocking that bitch up and down. Why do you think a boat is rocking up and down? It rock up and down if you are fucking in it. I'm gonna come. In order to form a more perfect union in and, oh, do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Do we not ratify our constitution? Do we not have a codified constitution like the UK? What is this? Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. I don't know if he is aware of this, uh, but Kid Rock, if you're watching, let me go full screen. I have really good news. We did it. We established the constitution. So let's let's give ourselves a round of applause, everyone. He's going to be so excited when he finds out about this. Okay, now we're back to the chorus. We the people. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Biden. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah. We the people. Standing up and standing tall. This is ableist because I'm not very tall. Because it's all for one and it's one for all. Mic drop. Mic drop right there. All, all, all. This is how I'd imagine it goes. Because it's all for one and one for all. All, 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 all. <laughs> that was a shit show. That's how I'm assuming the song goes. So yeah, overall, um, pretty standard song. I'd probably give it a 9.5 out of 10. I like it. I think it's good. It's it's not consistent writing. I think that his message isn't necessarily cohesive overall. But um, yeah. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Come.